To get started, first we have to create a new project, which is as simple as going to Menu and clicking New Project. Then, in the Pull Wizard, select your chosen development environment and enter your Salesforce credentials. After this, the IDE will automatically pull the metadata for classes, components, pages, triggers, objects, and static resources from Salesforce by default and group them into the Solution Explorer for you. You are no longer locked in Salesforce's classic structure. Just organize your source code in the most convenient and logical way for you, just as you would normally do in some other classical development environments. Creating a new class has been made easy with the Welcome Suite's Add New Item Wizard. You will find many different class templates to make your life easier. So, just choose your template, give it a name, and then scroll through a list of objects for this class and select the one you need. The IDE will automatically create this new class in the org with no additional steps from you. The Suites Editor has some great developer-friendly features, starting with customizable syntax highlighting and code completion that is handled locally to speed up your ability to write code along with lessening the chance of you making some simple errors when writing your code. You will see that all lines which you have changed are highlighted in the margins of the editor and also in the suite's code map in the editor's right margin. Apex Docs Generation was added to help maintain documentation within the code, which is critical in large complex projects. But what use is great documentation if it is not user-friendly? This is why the Welcome Suite added Apex Docs notes to our code completion. In the IDE, you can view a list of your changes that are waiting to be sent to Salesforce in our Pending Changes panel. There is also a separate panel where you can find useful information about your code coverage. Expand your project and quickly see how well your code is covered by unit test green over 75%, red less than 25%, and yellow somewhere in between. You can also click on the Show Coloring button and you will see exactly what lines of your code are covered in green or not covered in red in the editor and code map. Simply turn this feature off by re-clicking on Show Coloring. Building your pending changes is simple. Just click on your project in the Solution Explorer and select Build. The IDE will alert you to any errors and you can quickly navigate to the problem error in the editor from the Errors List panel with a simple click. The error will be highlighted in the editor so you can easily find and fix. To keep track of unit tests, the Welcome Suite has a special test result panel. You can simply run tests directly from the panel for either the whole project or just specific files that you want, and see real-time information on each test, and expand it to see not only the test job, but also classes and methods. Simply navigate by clicking on any failed or passed test to the editor where the lines of code that passed or failed are highlighted in the margins. After fixing, just use the handy build and run test feature to verify the problem has been fixed.